can see the circular windows. That's the Dream Hotel. A beautiful hotel on the inside. They have a beautiful terrace also for their guests. Here's just another view of the Dream Hotel. What a magnificent hotel. The lobby itself is really fantastic. The elevator takes you all the way to the rooftop. Of course, it's not that tall, but tall enough to have a rooftop and have a terrace. Really nice inside. And then from here, it's convenient to transportation and to the meatpacking district. There's 9th Avenue. And that's one block away from the meatpacking district. And that's where in New York, everyone loves to go out and have a party. And they moved the uh, partying area there in the 90s and in the 2000s because in the 1980s, they had a lot more uh, nightclubs and event space in Midtown, but the neighbors got really upset. So they moved it to uh, this more isolated place near 14th Street and 9th Avenue. And now it's really a booming place, and that's why when you have a hotel near there, it makes a lot of sense because the guests would really like it. And it's convenient to walk from here to the subway, which is just half a block away also. Another view of the Dream Hotel. You can see the rooftop. And that's where they have the rooftop lounge. Now, if you want to get in before nine, no problem. After nine, even for the Dream Hotel, they become very discerning and they say, what are you gonna buy? It's not like you just show up and say, I'm just gonna have one drink, no, no. You gotta buy a bottle of something. And, but it is beautiful inside. And it can get crowded. It's about 250 people capacity on the rooftop. Uh, but that's very nice. On really popular weekend days, then it becomes an issue because a lot of people wanna do the cool thing. They wanna hang out but everyone hangs out in the same location. It's not so cool. A little closer view of the terrace for the Dream Hotel.